Hey everybody, Reef Girl here. Tomorrow marks two weeks since I dosed fluconazole in this tank. And it looks great. All of this you see here, everything seems to have really come alive, including my red bubble algae. But my instinct is that the red bubble algae is diminishing. Now that clump is on the mount for the toadstool. That's getting removed and having the algae taken off of it. But even here, the algae doesn't look robust. You can see the green spots of turf algae I had all along here are gone. The zoanthids are looking marvelous. I, I can't quite believe how great they look. Everything looks really healthy in here right at the moment. Those Yuma recordias at the back there have absolutely exploded with growth. That's one. The other one is visible from the side. It's there. And they are absolutely huge. I don't know whether the fluconazole has anything to do with that or simply the improved water parameters from dealing with the algae. Um, but really, I'd have to say the fluconazole treatment was a success. There are no spots of bryopsis. Let me see if I can find the snail who was my test subject. Yeah, there he is right there. He still has some turf algae, but only about half of what he had on his shell. I'm going to keep an eye on him and on the rest of the tank. Oh, and there's a another little spot of it. So much like others have experienced with this, um, there are still a few spots and <laughs> my instincts tell me I better deal with those spots because otherwise we're going to start this all over again. So tomorrow as I said is two weeks, that's the 14 days and I think I will wait another 14 days and then I'll do another treatment. And hopefully that should take care of it. All this while I've also been dosing no pox on a continual basis. Nitrates haven't dropped down really low, so I'll continue to dose as long as I can read nitrate in here. And phosphates are at 0 0.178 the last time I checked with my HANA Ultra Low Phosphate Checker. <clears throat> so I think that's an acceptable level. Anything below 0 0.25 seems to be okay. And those levels will allow me to continue to dose the no-pox without concerns that I'm stripping my tank too clean. Overall, I'd have to say success with the fluconazole. I'm really pleased about that. And also the no-pox. So I have some work to do here in the 29 gallon cube in preparation to move over to the new tank, the Red Sea Reefer XL425. All of these zoanthids here need to be cleaned up and mounted on rocks. Uh, rock chips that I saved from the Texas Holy Rock and I'm going to use that to attach them to a couple specific spots in the new tank that I have planned. Um, you can see there's another red bubble algae infestation that is going to get cleaned up. Overall, um, at the moment, very, very happy with this. And I'm really optimistic that when everything gets moved over to the new tank, when it's ready to go, which I'm anticipating would be a minimum of another couple of weeks, it should all be good. So thanks for watching.